This video will cover how to set up your gradebook in the new version of eSchool Plus. And um, I'm going to focus on these two classes down here, the fourth period and the fifth period. These are both these are all, both English one classes. You can see they're heterogeneously grouped. In other words, there is a mainstream section within uh, the fourth period class and the fifth period class, and there's also a TR section. And I'm going to start by setting up the categories for the fourth period mainstream section and then duplicate those or replicate those to the other English one piece sections. So I'm going to do that by clicking on the gradebook icon with a pencil. Mm -hmm. And a couple things I want to point out about this, uh, about this gradebook, the look and feel of this gradebook are that notice that there is an S and an M icon. The S and the M, the S stands for single, the M stands for multiple. And if you look right now in this class, there are 20 students. And these represent the single section in this English class. In other words, these represent the, the mainstream section of this class. If I click the M for multiple, the number of students is going to go up because now I have the mainstream and the TR section. In order to copy the categories from once between sections, I have to start from a single section. So I'm going to go back to the single section, and I'm back in the mainstream section. And now I'm going to create my categories here, and then, like I said, copy them over. So I'm going to click on the gradebook, or I'm going to hover over the gradebook, and I'll click on Setup. And then I'll make sure I'm in my Categories tab on the furthest left. The furthest left is, tab is Categories. And I'm going to create two categories, just, just two categories for the sake of this demonstration. One is going to be a Classwork category. And I'm going to weight that at 40%. Could have them drop a lowest score if I wanted to. Um, perhaps I'll do that. Um, I'll do that this time. Uh, for the marking periods, leave those blank. So that you have a quarter one and quarter two marking periods. If you leave them blank, then this will be the default. This category will remain in place when we switch over to quarter number two. I'm gonna ex I can exclude missing scores from the average, or I can set this to missing scores count as zero in the average. So I'll do that and then I'll click Save. Now something that, that is important to point out before I add my next category is that I can also calculate my average using total points. So if you just want to do this via total points and you don't want to weight anything, um, that's fine. You can just click that button and that will allow you to do that. Notice that the category weight has gone away once I do that. But like I said, I want to use that. I want to use weighting so I'm going to uncheck that and I'm going to apply a weight of 40% to classwork. Next, I'm going to add another row, or add another row or another category. So I'm going to click on that and this one's going to be my assessments, quizzes and tests and so on. So I'll click on the, I'll add the assessment category and I will give this one a weight of 60%. And I'm not going to allow my students to drop their quizzes or tests. And then uh, for marking periods, I'm going to leave that blank again so it goes to default. That's what I want. And if it is not taken, or it will be a zero. And I will click Save. And now I have my two categories set up for this section. Now I want to copy this. So here's how I copy this over to the other, to the TR section for fourth period and also to the mainstream and TR sections for fifth period. And I go over to the top right corner and where I have the icon that has multiple pieces of paper, this is my copy icon. I will click on that. And then it says, notice it says copy assignments. I am going to copy the categories. Notice I don't have any assignments yet, so that's fine. Um, I'm going to copy from English 1P for this is the mainstream section. I can change this, change that if I want. For marking periods, I'm going to leave that just how it is. 
and for assignments and categories. I don't have any assignments yet in this gradebook, so I'll just leave that set to all. And I will click uh, the, the courses that I want to add it to. So I'm going to click Add Course. And notice here, I've got all of my classes for the entire year. Now this can be a little bit confusing, so be deliberate here and make sure you sele you're selecting where you want these things to go. Notice for this gradebook, I can, I can also select these categories and copy these categories over to the um, categories for the third and the fourth quarter. So I'm just gonna set everything up now. Um, if you prefer, you can do that if you have this same if you have visibility for the third and fourth quarters. Since I'm pretty confident that I'm going to use these same categories for these, uh, for these courses in the, uh, for all subsequent quarters, I'm going to go ahead and select all of them. So um, I've noticed I'm copying from this course, and here's where I want to copy it to. There's my fourth period uh, English 1P TR, or mainstream TR section, excuse me, for quarter 1-2. And then I'm also going to put this in quarter 3-4. For the mainstream section and and then my TR section for fourth period for the third and fourth quarter and then I'm going to do the same for all the fifth period sections and I'll click add and then it'll ask me to it'll give me a confirmation screen and say you want to copy to all these places yes I do and I'll click copy and the copy's finished. So that's setting up your gradebook, um, setting up the categories in your gradebook. Uh, the next video is going to review how to set up assignments.